The Italian legal system is highly complex and very different from both the UK and US systems. This makes doing M&A deals in Italy a challenge unless you have Italian advisors. Well, to hear more about this, let's meet Gianni Martolia, equity partner at Gatti Pavesi Bianchi, which describes itself as the biggest boutique law firm in Italy. I'm Sarah Lockett. Welcome to the Business Debate. Gianni, welcome to the London Stock Exchange Studios. It is good to be here. So what are some of the ways that the Italian legal system is different when it comes to mergers and acquisitions? The Italian mergers and acquisitions, uh, uh, since uh, a long time, uh, from a legal perspective, uh, it's, uh, it's aligned with the best international standards, in particular in terms of uh, rules of procedure, um, principle and in general in, um, in legal documentation. As you know, the, our system is uh, different from a common law, is a, is a system based on civil law and we have basically thousands and thousands of laws and regulations which try to regulate any, any branch of our life. Basically, when we structure a deal or when you draft a legal paper, you have to comply with a lot of uh, um, rules and, and constraint and restriction, so provide for the law, and most of them are mandatory. So should you always have an Italian advisor on an Italian deal, would you say? Yes, it is uh, highly recommended to have an Italian advisor, in particular in cross-border deals uh, where the the, the target is an Italian company or when the counterparty is an Italian sellers. Uh, the reason why is because choosing the Italian law as a governing law is, a, is in most of the cases uh, better than any other governing law, especially in a situation of litigation. Uh, otherwise, uh, it would be not so easy for a foreign investors to enforce a decision of a court vis-à-vis -vis an Italian seller or to seize his assets in case of breach or dispute or default of their obligation. Are there any industries or sectors that are hardest to get deals done in and why? The hardest sector are the highly regulated industries such as oil and gas, power, public utilities, TMT, telecommunication, medium and technology, Defense. In these industries, uh, when you are involved in a transaction, it is not complex only for, for the law or for the regulation, but also because our transactions are supervised by public authority, which in most of the cases uh, need to give their approval or clearance uh, for this transaction. In this situation, it is crucial to have uh, a local advisor well connected, well introduced with these authorities and having the, the good skills for, uh, for ending this matter. And Italy is going through an economic slowdown. How much do you think that that is depressing the market? To be honest, it's not in a, situ in a, in, in a slowdown or in a recession. Having a, 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 a populist uh, parliament, a government, uh, do not mean that we are in recession or we have a slowdown. Of course, uh, uh, it could create uh, turmoil in the national and international financial market, which in, in, the, in the long term may affect the fundamentals of the Italian companies, which are good and sound. Our economy and the Italian company, in particular medium and small size company, which are the backbone of our economy, are in a situation of expansion since 2015. And also the M&A market was, in, uh, was growing since uh, 2016. Following the recent, uh, the recent election in March, uh, we are experiencing a slowdown. Uh, the public M&A market is basically is disappeared and also the private uh, M&A market is, uh, is experiencing a slowdown. How do you think the market is going to develop now in the next three to five years? Are there any particular sectors that you think are going to be hot? Due to the fact that the Italian medium-sized company are the fundamentals of medium-sized company are very good for the moment, in particular in certain sectors, which is such as, uh, let me say, uh, manufacturing, mechatronics, uh, fashion, food, 
uh, design. I think that also for the next year or the, the near year after, this sector will, will continue to be very interesting for the foreign investors. And how do you think the mix is going to change between domestic deals and cross-border deals? In uh, the domestic deals, I think that, uh, in my opinion, will change the players. Now we have a lot of deals involving financial investors. And I think in the future we'll have industrial players trying to consolidate the market. And uh, in, the, in the sector that uh, I consider the most important sector of Italy, I think that the international player will continue to invest because we have a lot of very good company in Italy. And what do you think is the secret to being a great legal advisor in Italy or anywhere? Uh, as I said always, I think that we need to be better, we need to be quicker and we need to be smarter than our competitor in order to, to render good service to our client. Well, Gianni, thank you very much. Thank you, too. And join us next time when we'll be discussing the latest innovations in the circular economy and the future of work. But for now, from me, Sarah Lockett, at the London Stock Exchange Studios, it's goodbye and thanks for watching.